powders those wow why am i putting so much <laughs> on my face welcome back to my channel today's video is a full coverage flawless foundation routine using powder foundation guys we took out the liquids we took out the creams and we just opt for a powder foundation this is pretty much the look that I came up with a super flawless natural um, powder foundation guys my skin still feels hydrated so if you do have dry skin please do not be intimidated by this routine I pretty much showed you guys how to prep your skin as well before applying all this powder so if you are interested in seeing how I created this look then just continue to watch if you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed make sure you're subscribed hit the bell so that you're notified each time I upload leave your comments down below give this video a big thumbs up and let's just get into this tutorial all right guys so we're gonna start off with skincare I feel like skincare is important especially if you're gonna be packing on so much powder on your face and especially since the weather is getting colder so you want to make sure that your skincare is done and you're just well moisturized. I'm gonna take my Vichy Mineral 89 Serum. This honestly hydrates my skin. It's super good for, it's like, I would recommend this for dry skin. If you have dry skin, I'll definitely recommend this one. So it does act as a booster. Um, so I don't know, if you're really into skincare, you'd know there's a serum and then there's a booster. A booster essentially just helps to boost your serum to actually do its work and process faster so you would put this on before a serum um, so I'm just gonna apply this just to moisturize my skin and you guys know that I am oily skin so you guys are probably wondering why am I putting this on but again since we are putting on like pretty much powder for this whole look um, we want to make sure that we're moisturized underneath that powder or else you're gonna really see that powder sitting on your face. And for moisturizer, I'm just gonna take my go-to, which is my Pond's Clarin B3 moisturizer, and just moisturize my skin. I shaved my face for like the first time, and my skin feels like it's, it's super smooth. Okay, so you're still following the same process as if you were gonna do a regular full face. I'm gonna actually use my e.l.f. oil control primer mist. I'm still an oily girl, so I wanna make sure that I am using something that's still gonna control my oils. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this. I really don't like the applicator for this and how it sprays out, but um, I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and just pretty much pounce the product into my skin my skin honestly feels super hydrated all right so moving on to your primer I'm gonna take Catrice primer but this one is the fresh it up um, primer this one is more of a moisturizing primer so if you have dry skin this one is would be a good one for you I normally use the keep me matte you guys know I use this one all the time but because we're using pretty much all powder today we're gonna go in with a moisturizing primer so I'm gonna focus this pretty much everywhere usually I'd focus my primer in my t-zone but I'm gonna put this pretty much everywhere and it is a skin smoothing primer as well like your skin is gonna feel super smooth when you put this on my skin honestly feels very refreshed guys this is something I'm not used to but this is pretty much what you have to do when you want to do an all powder look so make sure your skincare is well taken care of before you go in with any of your makeup and that's just always always okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and just conceal I'm doing my normal concealing um, routine so I'm taking my covergirl cappuccino under what is wrong with me cappuccino under why am I saying <laughs> I'm taking my CoverGirl Undercover Concealer in Cappuccino and we're just going to conceal your dark spots and just make sure that this is pretty much going to act as your 
not foundation, but pretty much your coverage. Um, so I'm just gonna take a sponge today. Normally I would use a brush, but because my skin is super moisturized, the product will, um, what do you call it? Blend into my skin easier. And I am trying to make this look super natural. You guys know me, I always do natural makeup looks, so I am trying to keep this super natural. All right, so we're still going for a full face, so I'm, I am going to highlight, and I'm taking my LA Girl Concealer in Fawn, my go-to, and we're just going to highlight pretty much where we normally would highlight. And again, I'm gonna take my sponge and just blend it out. I'm super light-handed, guys. I don't know if you guys could tell in my videos. Like, I'm super light-handed when it comes to, like, concealer or anything. Um, I always just learn that, like, less is more. When you go in with less, you always have the option to apply more. But when you go in with a lot the first time, you, like, you, you're just doomed from there because you can't remove it. You know what I mean? So always go in with less and if you want to add more, you could always add more. So I'm just gonna blend this out. So I don't know if you guys could tell through the camera, but my skin, it even looks luminous right now. And that's pretty much what you want because when you go in with all the powder, you're gonna become matte. And you're gonna, if you don't hydrate your skin before you put in the primer, you're gonna feel the matte on your face. I don't know if madness is a word, but you're gonna feel like how tight your face will be um, because your skin is just going to be going in overload trying to hydrate and trying to you know compensate for the oil but you packed on all this powder. So that's why I always say make sure that you are moisturized before going in with this kind of routine, an all powder routine. So now that we have blended out our concealer, we're gonna go in with our first powder. So I'm taking my Maybelline Loose Powder in the medium deep shade, and we're just gonna pretty much do what we normally would do, which is set our highlighted areas. So I'm gonna use my sponge and just dip in. And you guys know I like to pounce the powder into the product. I don't like to bake. So we're just going to pounce it in. Oh, that was way too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just want to make sure that you're setting. You're still doing the same um, thing you would normally do if you were to do a full face. So I'm just going to go in with a clean brush and just brush off the excess powder. And I'm going to take the same brush. This is what I'm going to use to just apply my all over powder. All right, so next you want to contour. So I'm gonna take my NYX contour palette and go in with this deep brown shade here. And I'm just gonna use that to bring back the natural contours to my face. I'm just taking an angled contour brush. I do have a highlight and contour routine on my channel. If you are new and are looking for, you know, just a detailed video on how to highlight and contour, um, I'll leave it in the cards up here so that you can reference that video. Okay, so I can already feel my face. It's not, it doesn't feel moisturized like it did before. And why is that? Because we applied all of that powder and we're still not done applying powder. We're going to use one more powder to apply all over and just set everything in place. Um, and the one I'm using today is the CoverGirl True Blends Loose Mineral Powder and this one is in the tan shade. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and we're just going to pretty much tap off the excess. You don't wanna put too much. And we're just going to put this all over our face. And this is what's going to give the coverage um, just like as if you would be using a liquid foundation. If you are a beginner and you don't feel comfortable with a loose powder, you can um, use a pressed powder for this step as well. Another good one is the Maybelline pressed powders. Those, wow, why am I putting so much on my face? 
anyways the um the Maybelline loose powders those ones are pretty good and yeah so you just want to go all over especially um, where you highlighted you just want to go over that part as so well. So me I'm pretty extra I like to really see my contour pop so I am gonna go back into my contour palette and just go over my contours especially my cheekbones like I really like a very prominent cheekbone like I want y'all to see my cheekbones <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna pretty much go back over and just make sure everything is nicely blended All right, and then from this step you could pretty much finish up your Makeup you can move on to your eyes you can move on to your lips your lashes or whatever me. I'm gonna do my lashes So I will be back um, Just to close up this video and pretty much show you guys the finished look so I will be all right guys so I pretty much did my lashes off camera and just applied some mascara so just to finish off the look you guys know I like to add color back to my face I'm gonna add a blush I'm gonna take my Catrice blush in the shade burgundy and just add some color back to this look And you can go in with a highlighter. I think I want to keep this just like an all matte look. So I'm going to do my lips and just line it. What am I going to line it with? And now to set your face, you want to go in with a hydrating um, setting spray. So I'm taking my Catrice HD Active Performing Setting Spray. This one pretty much does everything. It's a protecting, hydrating, and a long wear um, setting spray. So I'm just going to use this to pretty much set everything in place. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for this look. It's super flawless, full coverage still. You didn't use a cream or liquid foundation. You used pretty much powders for this look and it still comes out pretty full coverage and just it looks like you put on like liquid foundation but you didn't you just use some powder so I pretty much showed you guys how to achieve a full face using powder so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new make sure you are subscribed to my channel guys I upload three times a week Leave your comments down below give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys